Now it's time to get organized, and Adobe Bridge can help. Under your File menu, choose Browse in Bridge. I'm going to double-click my desktop and get into my Project Files and into Chapter 2. Now I've popped in some new stuff that we're going to organize. We don't just see images. We see text files as well. But let's start with the images. I'm going to double-click on the New Orleans folder, and I'll choose Edit, Select All. Now often, before I rename files, I like to put them in a particular order. With this series, I'm going to leave them in the order they're currently in. And we will choose, under the Tools menu, the first selection, Batch Rename. I swear I use this every day or every other day. So many files that I receive from others just get generic names, DSE something, IMG something. I want to see useful, meaningful file names. So the first time you choose Tools and Batch Rename, you've got four fields to name your files by, and this is normally one. I'm going to rename in the same folder, but I could move them to another spot or copy them to a different location. When I dump my batch of camera images, I immediately back them up to an external hard drive. I used to burn CDs, but now I just bought a drive for all backups, so my backup is separate from my actual computer. So I'm going to rename them in the same folder because they've already been copied somewhere. Actually, typically I rename them first, then do the backup. So where you see new file names, I'm going to type in new, and I always add an underscore. I really never use anything but letters, numbers, underscore, and hyphen. Many people may have noticed that when you get email attachments, there's a lot of percent signs and numbers in the file name. If this was named New Orleans this way, with a space, that space in an email attachment will often change to percent 20 because that's the web character equivalent. So I'm going to put in an underline or underscore. A hyphen is also OK. So in New Orleans, I'll leave that and put an extra underscore to separate the number. The date and time is stored in metadata. I can actually see that over in the Bridge Metadata panel. So I'm going to subtract that from the naming convention. And I don't need an extra piece of text, so I'll subtract that. There are only 28 files to be processed, so I'll use a two-digit numbering scheme. But you can go all the way up to six. I've never done more than four. So if I have more than 100, I'll do three. More than 1,000, I'll do four, and so on. So each file is going to pick up a sequential name and number. New Orleans, 1 through 28. Click Rename. Instantly, it's done. That is a permanent change to the file name. If I look in the folder in New Orleans, it did change their file names. So I don't have to sit there and hand rename each one in order to get a web compliant and useful or meaningful file name. We're going to do these Austria photos that came from my iPhone next. So you'll see they do, in fact, have IMG names. I'll come back to Photoshop, or actually Bridge. And in Bridge, there is a Favorites view and a Folders view. I'm going to hit Folders. And I'll click on the iPhone Austria. I call Favorites kind of the child-proof or entry-level view. Folders shows me anywhere on my hard drive. So I'm looking at my desktop, but I could get into my computer and any servers or drives that are mounted there. So in the iPhone Austria folder, I will click on an image on the right and choose Edit, Select All, or you can use Command A or Control A. And then I'll choose again Tools, Batch Rename. And these will be Graz, Austria. And I'll start over at sequence number of one. It remembers how many files you batched renamed last time. In case you're a photographer dumping many camera cards into one folder, you could start with the next batch. So if you finished with 208 photos, 
The next batch will start at 2.09. I click rename, and boom, it's done. But I wanted to add a bonus into this video. Bridge doesn't just rename images. It can rename movies, it can rename InDesign files, anything it can see, even Word documents or PDF pages extracted as separate files. I'm actually going to choose to make a new folder. So File, New Folder, and I'll call it San Francisco Restaurants. And I pressed Return or Enter to accept it because the text files that are in this folder are San Francisco Restaurants. So if I come back to Photoshop Projects, I'm going to select all of these text files. So I will click on each TXT, holding down the Command key to select non-adjacent or non-touching items. On Windows, that's the Control key. Scrolling down, still holding down Command or Control. And what I want to do is add San Francisco restaurants to the name. In case I search my hard drive, I want to find one of those three words. So Tools, Batch Rename. And I will keep the current file name and the original case, but I could force it all to lowercase if uppercase bothers me because JavaScript and ActionScript for people building apps or web pages, it's case sensitive. So it's far safer to choose all lowercase. So I'll do that this time. Then I'll add a separator, which is text of an underscore. And finally, I'll actually not add third criteria. I could do it right here. San Francisco restaurant. Or restaurants, plural. But each one is its own text file. And these are real restaurants, some of my favorites that I typed up in case you visit our lovely city. So I will hit Rename, and they're all renamed. In fact, now I want to organize them in their own folder. So I will drag this over to San Francisco Restaurants, and there they all are collected. Bridge won't preview the content inside those files, but if you double-click, it opens up with the website and a little description that I wrote. So give Bridge a try on many of your images or files anywhere on your hard drive. You can organize here with folders and use Tools Batch Rename to make sure you know what the file is and it's a name that means something to you.